guys, so before I manage to track down Pete and have a bit of a chat with him about how stability issues uh, cause problems for runners, uh, how you fix them and uh, how they lead to performance issues as well. So I managed to get Pete to chat with me and keep it under a two minute mark, which is a challenge for that guy. You get him started on stability and he can talk for hours. Have a look at what he's got to say. All right, here he is, Pete. We're talking stability and it's time to tell us all you know. Uh, which should take us about two minutes or so. Uh, first of all, tell us how stability issues in runners can lead to injuries. Good question. Now, stability is the ability of the body to essentially hold itself in a firm position uh, while the force is being pushed through the ground. Now, if you don't have stability or good stability, then the joints move excessively uh, or they move too rapidly. Now that's going to overload various things. The joints that move excessively, the joint itself cops the brunt of it. Joints that move too rapidly, all your connective tissues, your ligaments, your tendons, uh, and the cartilage in the joint are going to be put under excessive force and they cop the brunt of the force. So rather than the muscles taking the load, it goes elsewhere and generally speaking those areas aren't well suited, they inflame and they eventually injure. And that's obviously going to lead to some issues with performance as well, no doubt. Yeah, look, now performance is another big one. If you're doing a single leg hop, if you're on one leg and you're hopping up and down, if you do that on stable ground, you get pretty good height out of the hop. Jump in a canoe and try and hop and you don't go anywhere. As soon as the ground is unstable, uh, the, the connection between you and the ground is unstable, you're not gonna get good propulsion. So all that extra force that your muscles are generating is getting wasted. You get your stability right, suddenly your force is getting transferred all the way through to the ground, great for performance. Yeah, right, okay. So then uh, let's talk about fixing these injuries. Like if if I've got a stability issue, uh, what's, the, what's the fix? Now here's the trick. Discovering what the underlying issue with stability is, is half the battle. If you've got a problem where the muscles aren't working in the right sequence or the right timing, the exercises have to focus on sequence and timing. If the areas are weak, you can pretty much work on, uh, on strength exercises to build it up, but strength uh, issues or weakness is the least common uh, cause of stability problems. More often than not, it's gotta be in the same context as what you do when you're running, uh, and then working on either muscle patterns or additional use of power or fast force, uh, as well as the timing of that stability. Those things will fix problems if that's the cause. If it's a stiff joint, fixing the joint, and it tends to all work well from there. Thanks heaps, mate, and thanks heaps for uh, bringing that explanation in under the two-minute mark for me. Happy to do it for you. Thanks, bud.